I don't want that. I don't want people to to feel like I was abused and you know they was feed us like eat this, eat, eat this. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. To be notified whenever I upload, hit bell button right there. Good stuff. And also, if you like the video, hit the like button. That'll really help. Thank you guys. Morning. Yes, yeah, 9.24. Still in Yorkshire. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm down for a week and I'm back up in a week. So I'm leaving tomorrow, which is Saturday. I'm back next Saturday, basically. I woke up in the morning, went to the gym, did some meditation. Now I'm talking to you guys. I think today me and Naya are going to the cinema. And then I'm going to have a nice little chat um, with you guys some point of the day. Um, you know, the, the video is already titled How I Got Fat. Um, this is going to be a series. So welcome to the How I Got Fat series. And, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be explaining basically how I got fat. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen. Um, when I get up properly, because yeah, I did all them all of that amazing stuff this morning. Now I'm just chilling, you know, just relaxing, reflecting. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so we here. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Yeah, so we here about to go watch his Teen Titans go to the movies. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Teen Titans go to the movies. And then after that, I'm gonna continue with the topic for today. Yeah, so just finished watching that Teen Titans movie. Highly recommended, all ages. Great movie, funny as hell. Um, yeah, highly recommended. I can't recommend it enough. Um, yeah, it was good. Anyway, on the way back to my brother's house now. Then I'm gonna continue with the topic of the video. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see from the title and as I said for the whole video, the topic is how I got fat. Now, I'm going to start from the beginning. This series, I'm starting from the absolute beginning, from where I can remember. Now, the first time, well, before I start, I have to, you know, kind of reflect on when did I identify myself as being fat or overweight. So I can say from the age of eight years old, that's when I identified myself with the term phrase or body composition of fat or well, that's when the first time I remember being called it or referred to as it it was eight years old now if I'm brutally honest as a child that's eight years old that has no control over his nutrition doesn't even know what nutrition is doesn't even know don't even really truly understand the reason why we eat you know it's something that has been ingrained in us and taught to us for as long as we know it's, it's just something that we do it's a habit it's a ritual it's it's just what we do we eat rick food's on the table go eat rick you hungry yes i think i am don't even know what hunger is because you know look most of the people that watch my videos are of a certain age yeah between let's say 25 to whatever age you know it could be even teenagers yeah some of you guys don't understand what hunger is yeah i'm gonna tell you some of you guys don't truly understand what it means to feel hungry you know you got this feeling in your stomach and the signal sends to your brain like, oh i'm hungry but you could actually be thirsty you don't even know some of you guys don't even know so as a kid as an eight-year-old what am i going to know about actually being hungry you know it's just it's it's almost like a a feeling that we're not taught to feel but it's like an association with that feeling but but we don't we don't have the, the awareness you know within ourselves to know to differentiate the difference between being hungry or thirsty you know what i mean like sometimes we could be thirsty but i digress 
So what I'm trying to say is, is that without have, I'm an eight year old. I don't have no control over what I eat. So the food that I must have been eating was one of two things. Extremely high calorie food. Um, and I, I know as a kid, I was active. I'm not gonna go and say I wasn't, I was totally sedentary and inactive. I was active. I don't feel I was as active as much as I needed to be based on the nutrition or the food or the calories that was going in. Um, there were some kids, you know, for example, there were some kids that was part of football teams and they could literally eat whatever they wanted. I couldn't and I probably still, still ate whatever I wanted. Um, yeah, so that's definitely how I got fat. That's definitely how I got fat. I was eating either high calorie food or the portions that was put in front of me wasn't good. So that's how. Um, look, you know, <laughs> it's a very long time so I can't remember exactly what's put in front of me. I do remember, you know, um, weekends we had takeout, weekdays um, there was some like um, oven food and stuff like that. So yeah, I can't really, um, I don't really feel if I'm honest, um, like yeah I liked my chocolates and I like my sweets, I love my fizzy drink, I didn't really drink water as a kid, um, if I'm honest, loads of um, dilute drinks, Ribena, there wasn't a lot of nutritional awareness when I was growing up in the mid to late 80s and the 90s um, there wasn't a lot of nutritional awareness as there is now there wasn't a lot of information as there is now I'm from the Caribbean I'm a I'm a Caribbean descendant right now you know most of the foods are very carby food you know a lot of the people from there from the Caribbean they they did a lot of manual labor you know what I mean or even the kids they walked to school miles to go to school and then miles to come back so what their so their day-to-day -day, so their day-to-day -day calorie expenditure was much more higher than a kid that lived in London that got picked up and got that got dropped and picked up from school that did you know PE and football well I did PE when I could when I couldn't get out of PE they tried to make me swim but I weren't swimming um, you know so yeah I just wasn't based on what was on my plate I wasn't doing enough so from let's say the age of eight years old from the age of eight years old to 11 that is how I got fat now yes I don't like to use the word blame you know I don't like to use the word blame but my parents definitely played a role in my childhood obesity and I'm not going to say they didn't try their best or you know within their within their limited education on nutrition and exercise and movement and calorie expenditure and all that other stuff like they tried their best I do remember even having a dietitian from um, you know nine ten years old I do remember my mum trying to consciously give me salads as well I remember my mum trying to take me to karate and kickboxing so yeah um, I do remember they 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 did try they did try some of my my some of my dad's methods was quite you know harsh to me at the time um, that wouldn't have been my approach now but you know it is what it is that's the past um, but yeah so it was on their mind it did bother them but they I don't think they had the knowledge or the know-how to to do it they didn't do it my mum she's quite a big lady my granddad wasn't a big guy but he got big my grandma is you know a bit bigger than average uh, my dad was fairly slim when I was growing up you know um, but I do come from a, a kind of big family a few of the people in my family are big as well 
So, you know, if it's, it's hard, it's, it, look, I don't want to sound, come across bad or nothing, but if they didn't know how to do it for them, then it would have been hard for them to help or assist me to do it, you know? And I'm, this is no way, shape or form trying to make excuses because, you know, it is what it is and it might sound bad, it might sound harsh. I don't want that, I don't want people to, to feel like I was abused and, you know, they was feeders like, eat this, eat, eat this. They weren't, they weren't feeders like that, you know what I mean? My parents were fairly young when they had me, <laughs> you know what I mean? They was fairly young, so, it, you know, it's just one of them things. And um, um, we live and we learn. And now I train my daughter like crazy. I monitor her water, I monitor her food, I'm on it. So it took me to go through what I've gone through for the next generation not to go through it, you know? So, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. And I wouldn't be here to show my love and support you guys, you know? I wouldn't be able to have this content. You know, it's called content, but this is my life experience. I wouldn't have this life experience if I didn't go through it. So I'm grateful for that. I was put here for a purpose. I feel like my childhood, to a degree, was sacrificed. I didn't have the same childhood as most of you guys. Or should you put people watching this video? Yes, I probably did have the same childhood as you. But I didn't have the childhood as, you know, most other people I know. You know, the thoughts and the feelings and the situations and the, the, the you know, depression, anxiety and insecurities and self-consciousness. Like, a lot, a lot of kids from the age of eight didn't go through what I went through. You know, I, I can say that. I know that without even knowing. It is what it is. But yeah. So I'm going to close this video now. That was, this was a little summary or a video detailing on how I got fat. But this is the age range between 8 and 11. I'm going to drop in a video very soon from 11 to 18 on how I got fatter. You know, so if you guys don't want to miss out on that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, guys, so you don't miss out on the next installment on how I got fat. And yeah, like my video, guys. Share my video, guys. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Keep watching. More content's coming very, very soon. All right, guys. Peace.